is every time the snow is falling down and it is cold outside we gather around the fireplace and no one cares about yesterday guys and welcome back to my channel for my next installment of vlogmas i don't know why but i always feel like i have to sing it even though i've got like the worst singing voice in the world um but welcome back to my channel and yeah as you've seen i've woken up i've given myself a little bit of time because i'll be honest i feel like i needed that time just to sort of wake up and be able to basically get a coffee in me so that I'm able to string together some sort of sentence. I am currently sat in what is my new office. Um, it's quite messy at the moment, I can't lie, but I'm set up. So I've got double screen on a little arm, my laptop, and uh, yeah, love it. Absolutely love it in here. I've got my own little space that I've got a door on so that when I finish in the day, I can shut that door and it sort of just shuts me off from work. Although I am finding I'm doing quite a lot of vlog editing here as well. And I feel that it's making me more productive, quicker at editing because I've got my own designated area. I do need to get a chair because I'm currently sat on a dining <laughs> dining table chair, which isn't probably the best. Um, and Nala's got her little spot down here. Life is better with a dog. Chris put that up for me yesterday. <laughs> um, but it is, as I say, very messy in here um, because I've got an awful lot of washing that I need to put away. This is also kind of slash a wardrobe as well because I don't have enough space in the other room, in the bedroom. So uh, yeah, Chris has made me like a little, little built-in wardrobe thing there. Um, and I've got my chest of drawers, which I sanded down and painted all up. So yeah, it all goes together with my desk. Anyways, you didn't really need to know about that. I'm meant to be talking about my routine. So as you've seen, I've woken up, had my coffee. I'll be honest, routine at the moment is a little bit different each day, to be honest. It's got the same principles. I obviously go to the horses, I let them out, give them breakfast. And in the evening, I try to ride. Sometimes I am riding in the morning, depending on the weather. Um, but today isn't one of those days. I've actually had a few days off and thought I would get this filmed today. So it's first of the month, which is actually my busiest day at work. We do like month end processes and things like that. Thankfully, I'm not on it, but I have got a lot to catch up on because I've been off. So I am a little bit later heading over to the ponies, but I also thought that the light would be better. It would be better to be a bit brighter. At a point now with work that I go, right, I'm off to do the horses. So let's go jump in the car literally jump in the car because I'll be honest I'm not going to get changed um I think I've done this once before and you've seen that I always go to the ponies dressed like this like I say though routine has been changed quite a lot recently obviously I'm doing a lot of vlog editing at the minute and I am better in the morning so I've actually been waking up earlier than what I used to so I set an alarm for about five quarter past five snooze it a couple times and then hopefully get up at like half five quarter to six do it varies each day depending on where I am in the vlog but maybe half an hour an hour of editing and then I start work um just finding that helps me keep a little bit on top of all the editing that is currently going on with vlogmas um oh and also an engagement that I am trying to get the ex more engagement out as well so there's gonna be like just a random one where I'm actually posting three vlogs in a row but anyhow this is all about vlogmas and Christmas and yeah, let's head down to the ponies. Let's get Nala in the car. She's currently fast asleep. Um, she's had a busy weekend too. She's absolutely shattered. I think she's going to be glad for a couple of quiet days whilst I'm working. She's very good when I'm working from home. But yeah, let's head on down to the ponies, give them their breakfast and uh, yeah, see you at the stables in a second. Do you not want to come today? Hey, you're not keen. No. <laughs> you were so tired, aren't you? I just walked out onto my estate and I've realised because I'm a little bit later for the light, 
I've just seen somebody and I'm thinking, what do they think I look like? Wellies, dressing gown, and a Santa hat. <laughs> Usually it's on the verge of darkness so not many people are out and about and probably not many people can actually work out exactly what I'm wearing. Hey ho! Let's go! First thing is let you out. Bing! Ah, oh, and the ponies are laying! Girly whirlies. Hello. Hiya. Oh, you're always so itching to get out, aren't you? Yes. Hello. And you? You like two nodding Churchill dogs, aren't you? Yes. Yes. Shall we get you some bracky? Some bracky? I feel like every room at the minute is a mess. It's an absolute mess in here. Barely can get in here, if I'm honest. Because of the storm we had at the weekend, I keep feeling like my dressing gown's gonna undo. Because of the storm we had, I had to bring all rugs in here. Well, actually, mum and dad did because I wasn't actually here. Um, anyways, let's not hang around because these ponies are hungry. So they only get half of what they get in the evening because they take a little while to eat. Addy wants to just get out, so doesn't tend to eat all of it anyway, so he literally just gets half nuts and half of chaff. It's just to have a little something, and Spidey gets half chaff and half mix. Happy days. And then, of course, that all-important balancer, which... Keep your eyes peeled. The giveaway of this vlog, guys, is with Blue Jib. I thought it would be fitting, seeing as yeah, it's part of the routine. Food is like one of the most important things, isn't it? Let's face it. Um, that's. I was like, who is that for? Join care for Abby and senior for Sprite yeah, actually I think I'm gonna have to open a refill bag later that wasn't quite full I'm gonna have to open a refill bag later and get them filled up because they are nearly empty look Ooh, they will be if I drop it um and then just a little splash of the joint RLF which I explained about Spritey's having just as a little bit extra right some water in there and give them the Brecky, and then whilst they're eating that I'm actually going to write up my whiteboard because I haven't for the week yet and I feel like I need to try and be as organized as I possibly can at the minute with everything that is going on so I'm gonna sit down and do that whilst they're eating okay so if you haven't seen my board before this is my big whiteboard so it's got what they're fed again because I was away at the weekend I thought it would be best to write that all down for my mum and dad so they knew and as you can see the board actually is filled with a lot of days off but I am going to rub that all off Addie has actually almost had a week off now so when did I last ride her Wednesday so she is about ready. I'm going to long line her today. I've been thinking that she just needed a bit of time off, which being away at the weekend I thought would be ideal, but just needed a bit of time just to process everything. A lot has changed for her in the last, what, four or five months. She was happily out of the field. She's then been down to Fred's, been backed, broken, and then has come to me as well. So a lot has changed. And we've been doing an awful lot of stuff. So just to allow her, her brain to sort of just process. But she is now getting a little bit, I can tell she's just a little bit edgy. Like she needs to do something. She needs to let off a bit of energy. So now it's perfect. I was going to give her a couple of weeks off over Christmas. But I actually think I'm going to break that down to like a week now. Then ride again all the way up to Christmas. Then see how she is. Maybe give her another week and then go again from there. And think just break down those time off into one week stints. I think would be better. And it was actually Jess um, when I visited Jess up in Exmoor. She said that that her horse was a little bit too hot to just give him just two weeks off. So that is the plan with her. We'll see how it goes. Um, so today is actually wednesday so they have both had days off on monday and tuesday sprite is going to get hacked later on today and 
Addy is going to be long. Do you know, I keep saying, is it long rain or long run? Long nine. Long rain, I think. I'm not going to go very far, just to remind her putting tack on and everything like that. We'll see how that goes, but hopefully then we can take her for a hack tomorrow. Spritey, I'm going to jump you tomorrow because we are jumping at the weekend, so we better do some jumping before that. Uh, Friday, Addy can then have day off. Actually, yes, that works well because on Friday we have got something very exciting that we are filming for a brand. So Spritey is actually going to the B-E-A-C-H and then Saturday probably do another hack for Addy uh, and can you stop licking me please? Thanks. Okay. So I just tried to make it vary basically so I actually think the Sprite should have then Saturday off to recover from jumping and the beach and then she is ready for show jumping on Sunday and then Addy, what can we do with might just put a question mark, you know, and see how I found her. So that would have been three times this week. Let's just see how she takes it. So there we go. Have you finished your breakfast? Taking a bit of time. So that is now the board for the week. Um, and as I say, question mark down there just because I'm just going to see how she is. And to be honest, this hat here. So it's always flexible, always movable, but it just helps my head know that I have got it all organised, know what I'm doing. I don't then spend my time going, oh, well, she did this yesterday. We're doing that tomorrow. It's all written out nice and easy. Um, like I say, some things do move around every now and again, but that is the aim of what we're going for. So yeah, right, pop that away and let's get these babies out. Because they are itching to get out. They say, Mum, you were late this morning. just feed them and let them out they are seeming very spicy this morning i'm not sure it's been quite a windy night so i don't know whether that's just making them feel even fresher but see what i mean i think addy is ready to come back into work so now to get home and start my proper i can't even say proper working day but get home and work for the day Day. I'll be honest a lot of evenings recently I have actually been going home again and having to work but there's like this process that we have to do in the evening but thankfully a colleague is doing it this evening so I don't need to worry which is very nice don't although I have still got an awful lot of emails that I need to sort of catch up on but never mind they will wait till tomorrow won't they um but for now I do have to rush a little bit to be able especially when both ponies are being ridden in the evening because we are obviously getting very close as Christmas is on its way very close to the shortest day of the year 21st of December so I'll let you into a little secret my dad's retired now isn't he and the little ledge he marks out for me during the week He's very good. He didn't yesterday, but majority of the time he does. So very, very thankful to him. If not, it doesn't matter. I just have to do it after I've done the horses because obviously due to lights, thankfully I have got very good lights thanks to Chris in my stables. But for now, we're going to straight away get ponies in, unlock the tack room and we're going to take Addy out. It is rather windy here today. 
I hope she's okay and it is a bit chilly and I know that Addy walks quite fast so I will warm up when I'm out riding, out walking should I say, I'm not going to be riding. Um, how far away are they? So they're up in a 10 acre field at the minute. Very lucky ponies, but hear the wind! Oh, Addy, I hope you're good. I hope, hope, hope you're good. So I'm going to get Addy out first. We're not going to go very far to be honest, so I think I should have enough time. I just, whoa! <laughs> That took it from me. Oh my goodness. Wedge there? I don't feel like that's going to stay there. Anyhow, I don't think it's going to take me too long. Like I say, I just want to get saddle on her again, put the bit in her mouth. You'll remember, she's only been broken like, what, now four months? Maybe not even that. So, yeah, let's go get them in. Spritey! Addy! So yeah, let's see how we get on. I'm just playing it safe. I know it's windy, but even if we just go down the road, literally down, turn around and come back, I will be happy. But uh, I'm hoping we have, the way I'm planning on going, it's a little bit more sheltered, away from cars, because it is also rush hour here at the moment, with school and then people leaving from work. So we're gonna go down the road, actually where it was on the welcoming Addy in at home, I took her down there and she didn't like the water down there, but she's been past it a couple of times since and it's been good as gold. So hopefully she hasn't forgotten and we'll get past it today. No excuses. Yeah, let's get them in and get them, get Addy tacked up and ready. Let's see how she is. Wish me luck, guys. <laughs> come on in, come on up, come on over for the merriest time of year. Come on up, come on in, get together for a good time, smile. One slight little mad panic because I didn't think I could find my lunge lines, but we found them. So we are good to go. Lunge lines are there, ready. I tend to find it's easier to do it over my mum's car rather than mine. Um, saddles all on, just need to tighten your girth. And then good old fashioned bit of binder twine there for the uh, the lunge lines to go through so it makes it a little bit easier um, but we'll do your girth up now and we'll get going you've been good to tack up actually she wasn't too bothered bit going in again or anything like that so that's a positive um I really don't think I'm going to get as far as I even wanted to and that wasn't even that far either because I am concerned I, we've just had a hailstorm and then it goes really dark doesn't it when it get, does that um hopefully that is the shower over and I'm not about to get wet because I'm not really dressed for it but I know I'm going to get really warm walking behind her because she is so fast so yeah right phone down camera down and let's get get going shall we hey it's going to do you world of good to go out again now and I'm really glad that I have decided to do this and I haven't got the pressure thinking oh I've got to get on what's she going to be like after not being ridden for a while so definitely sensible decision um and yeah we'll head over to the GoPro now and we'll get a little bit that way yeah now walk on walk on so let us have a swinging Christmas just like one, two, three. Good girl. Walk on. Good girl. Thank you. Walk on. Yeah. Oh, brave. So brave. Good fun. Good. Good girl. Good girl, that's nice. Good girl. Good girl, walk on. Good girl, take your time. Good girl, walk on. You brave. You good girl. Well done. Hey, me. Good girl. Good girl! Good girl! And walk on! Clever! Good girl! Thank you, DVD. Good driving. Go on! Good girl, go on, I know it's narrow. Good girl! Good girl, thank you very much, thank you! Good girl! Oh, 
Well done, baby pony. Good girl. Don't poo again in Mum's lane. Already going to be in trouble because you did the first one. Woohoo! Good girl. Oh, you superstar. Well done. And this is what happens. I knew you get Spritey tacked up, ready to go. It tips it down. I'll be getting my coat from the car, that's for sure. I have to be honest, even for me, this is quite later going out for a ride with Spritey, but we are all high vised up. I have got a light on my phone and yeah, we're not going very far. Again, Sprite's had quite a bit of time off, but just want to take her out for a little leg stretch, although she's feeling pretty keen forward going. I think she's just as glad to be out, aren't you, Spritey Boo? Yeah. It is going to be a bit boring, guys. I'm going to go down exactly the same because that is a private road down there, so I know. There isn't many cars. It's right, it's not liking the rain. Was you shielded for the rain then? <laughs> I know it's a private road, and even when you go, you go past those bollards that you've probably seen, um, and past that little water bit that Abby doesn't quite like, all that is just no cars go down there, which is why I really like it. And then what we've got is this little stretch from Mum's entrance. We can go up, go round the school. We can have a little trot, a little canter on the grass perches. And yeah, that will be enough for her today. And then obviously I've got all the stables to do. But this is kind of the routine. This is what equestrian on winter is like, isn't it? Reality. Rushing around, trying to fit everything into the small daylight hours that we have. Often doing what we can job wise in the dark. Starting the day in darkness and ending the day in darkness. Now I know that I was obviously later to the ponies this morning, but that was just so for filming it would be easier. But tonight it's not gonna be like that. It is fast coming in. So finally, we're gonna have to get a march on, aren't we? Yeah. Ponies ridden and done. It is as I thought in the dark admittedly but it's okay so they're in their stables now to start the evening jobs and this is when I am very thankful that dad or mum, mum used to do it, um, muck out for me because otherwise you'd have to get them out again, do all the mucking out and then obviously sort out the bed so no, I've got my dumpy bag, I've got hay nets in there, let's go with a thanks to Edelight, Woo! that comes up weird on the camera, <laughs> let's go fill up some hay nets. Oh Nala, I've no idea guys what this is going to come out like. You've got your leg trapped in the... <laughs> what are you doing? And then I just need a little bit more for Addy, so... because I struggled to fit two uh, hay nets in the dumpy bag and then next thing is to get some straw and that is up in the top shed so again into the darkness I'm just thinking how hard it is to actually film a morning and evening routine because you are battling the light I'm glad that I waited this morning for it to be better light um, even though the ponies weren't too happy about it it was definitely better for you guys watching dad parking the tractor considerably considerably considerately nice again the time to go oh in the shadow of the camera I was just showing you where we go up to get the straw, aren't you, puppy? And then up, 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 up. Ah! <laughs> you made it! <laughs> Something's gay. 
tell you, the moment you realise that there's actually probably enough straw in the in the shed, just as I went and brought some straw down, Dad had obviously must have done it. Whilst I was away, so oh, silly me, didn't need any more. Didn't need to even go up to the shed, but never mind. Got even extra there now. It's now the pony's favourite time of day. Dinner time, uh, to be honest, I think it's probably all of our favourite time, I know it is for me. And that gets us on to the giveaway that is going to be running over on my Instagram page for you guys. So be sure to head on over there after you finish watching this vlog where you can win with Blue Chip. Now I have been very fortunate to work with Blue Chip for probably, I was trying to think of this earlier, probably like three years I think now, maybe even more. From the get-go, Spritey has been fed the Senior Super Concentrated Balancer, which has got all joint supplement in. And then Addy, like I mentioned this morning, we have decided to put her on the joint care. So she hasn't been on that for that long, probably only a few weeks, but it worked super well. The ponies are like, I want my dinner. It's worked super well for Lola, so I'm sure it's gonna do the exact same for Addy being younger increasing our workload as she grows it's that prevention rather than cure both of these balances have actually got joint supplements within them um, and i actually need to refill both of them as you saw this morning they are quite low so let's do that now so to help the environment they bring out the refills in these bags and then i simply just cut along there oh actually double check which one i'm about to put in Ah, senior, that was a good guess. And then that goes in there and that fills up the tub. Lovely and full again, just like that. And it's good to go into Spritey's feed. So I will leave that slightly open because I have made up their feed already. And then I can fill up Addy's here too. Just double check I have pulled out the right one. Yeah, joint care. So it's on the label at the bottom, but just to help the environment, they come in these paper bags. Always remember to take your scoop out because the amount of times that then I have to go fishing down through it because I've gotten it, but I haven't today, which I'm quite surprised about. So that is them nice filled up. I, like I said, I've got their feeds. Let's wrap them. So we go. One in Addy. Lid on that. And one in for Spritey. In like that. Oh, Sprite's also got the RLF. So, as I mentioned, she's on half doses. The prize that is up for grabs is over £100 worth. You have got two months worth supply of any balancer. It doesn't have to necessarily be these two, but any balancer from the blue chip range, as well as a goodie bag. So, it might be that you already feed blue chip so you can just get two months more of what you already feed or perhaps you'd want to trial it want to trial it for your horses so you can speak to blue chip because they are absolutely fantastic um, give them a ring they would work through with you what's best for your horse and then go with that and give it a trial see what you think of it if not and you don't I don't want to say this, but not the lucky winner. I have also got a discount code EMD5 to get five pounds off of your first order. So be sure to use that in case you're not the lucky winner. I'm afraid there's only, only able to be one, but make sure, like I say, head over to Instagram and get yourself entered. Right, I'm going to give these ponies their dinner. Hope you guys have enjoyed this morning and evening routine vlog. I'm part of my Vlogmas. And of course, look out for another vlogmas in a couple of days time if you have please do give it a like comment and subscribe and i will see you in a couple of days for the next installment of vlogmas bye i'm coming ponies you're both looking at me